So, this is Liz Biggie of Bizarre Broadcasters. And the person holding the camera is Jay Money. And what we have here is our parts for the Steam build. Uh, this has been a collaboration of slowly buying parts as they come on sale. Uh, what we have, starting from the left, is a Cooler Master uh, case. We have an i5 processor, which is the most expensive part of the build. A 2 terabyte hard drive. 8 gigs of DDR3 memory. A uh, Corsair uh, CX600, so it's a 600 watt power supply. Uh, we have a GTX 660. And last but not least, we have a MSI Mini ITX motherboard. And that's the whole point of this build, is essentially we want to get it as small as possible. We want to fit this in the living room. We want it to be cheap. We want all of the above. Uh, so, a little bit of practicing. Uh, searching online for the best prices eventually we come up with all this and um, you can get cheaper than this, you can get way more expensive than this uh, it just depends on what you want for your build but we want it as cheap as possible so that's what we're going for here today so let's get started Okay, inside our case here we actually have a black mesh which is going to be really nice for uh, any dust filtering uh, but the way that we're going to set it up, this really isn't necessary anyways, because we're going to be sucking air from the inside of the case out using the power supply. And this is where the power supply would typically be. So we might we'll figure something out. Uh, now inside the case, let me set this up to the side here. We have an 80 millimeter fan here on the side that will blow on the CPU. We have a 120 in the front. We have all our parts. Uh, we have all our cages. Um, now, luckily, with this case, it is very modular. I mean, you can remove this fan assembly. You can remove all this bracket tree. Bracket tree. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, which is essentially what we're going to do. We don't want any of this in here. Uh, we're going to remove the majority of this, mostly for space, because uh, we're not going to have a three and a or a five and a half inch. Uh, ROM drive in here, so we're just going to take this completely out. And down here at the bottom, there's mounts for all sorts of hard drives, SSDs, and there's actually one big enough for our three and a half inch hard drive here. So let's get a screwdriver and we'll start sorting things up. Okay, what we got here is our motherboard. As you can see, it's really tiny. I take my big fat hand in and account here. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to figure out our mounting holes. Uh, this is pretty simple though. I think it's only got four. I've never done mini ITX until today, so this is all new to me, but I have a general experience. And if you look down here, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to install the mounts for the motherboard. And then we have a back plate that's going to go in, which is right here. Essentially line everything up here. And this actually pops into place. I'm gonna pull this out here for now until we get our screws ready. Now while he's giving me a pair of pliers, what I'm gonna do here is essentially figure out where our three and a half inch has to go. Now you do see some labels here for three and a half inch. And I believe it goes in either like this or the reverse direction. I'm more comfortable with the reverse direction because I don't want my cables all smashed. And then we'll just run them back. I think that sounds like a good idea. Should just go in. Looks like it goes in like this. I should be able to just slide it in. Might have to loosen our screws up a little bit or tighten them. Oh, it looks like it's in. So, what we'll do is we'll tighten it the rest of the way down. So, what we got here, let me just pull these tabs up a little bit. 
Is this motherboard? It should just slide in. There's some people that wear anti-static wristbands, blah, blah, blah. I've never wore one, never blown anything up, so I'm not on plastic. Yeah. Okay. Two more screws, and this motherboard is in. Then we'll be going to install the CPU in the memory. This is the part that you got to be very careful yeah. of. Yeah. The static electricity will destroy our very nice i5 processor here. We are just going to be using the stock heatsink. We're not doing anything fancy today. Maybe down the line I will throw something beefier, like a water cooler. But for today, just the basics. So we have a nice i5 processor. This is the part where you got to be very careful. Yeah. I always touch myself to the case to prevent any electric discharge. And then you see there's a little arrow on this side. And there's usually a slant right here. And this just goes right in. If it doesn't fit, then that's not the direction it goes. And then simply put that down. You want your two to go in there just right. It'll feel like you're breaking your damn motherboard. But it is in. This is what I base off of how big the cable is and where it's going to reach to. Now our CPU fan is right here, so I'll probably put it in like this. So you want to do this in a opposite direction here. And the snapping is just the plastic from the clips. So this guy is now in. Wish they would have gave us a straight one. It's gonna be kind of tricky getting all the wires where you need them to go. Especially the SATA cable. I really don't like how they have that there. I have to do some creative bending here. <laughs> I don't like bending SATA cables, but... Okay, this is... I got a semi-modular power supply here, so what I'm going to do is attach our SATA cable. More creative bending. <laughs> We're going to set these cables off to the side because this is the difficult part is figuring out where everything goes and what's the best way to do it. I'm going to keep it over there. Just so I don't knock all these on the floor, which is a and a half. A lot, yeah. So a little update. We removed our fan bracket back here for now because it's kind of in our way of installing stuff. I'm debating removing this hard drive and putting it uh, right up here because it also has a mount for on this guy um, I think you put it underneath reverse Man. okay so I've determined that the majority of my cables are going to be routed this way I'm going to tie this all down and make it look nice and pretty we're going to install our graphics card and install our memory and we are ready to go Require taking out the graphics card because I'm not going to force this graphics card over just to plug yeah. in the cable. And replace. Got the memory in. Memory in. So as you see, we left a lot of airflow room 
for pretty much everything. If you come, if you look at the side, um, see how we have a lot of room here. All our cables are going to be up here, which is going to keep them out of the way. Let me check yeah. this camera here. Uh, we have pretty much a lot of air room, which is what we want. Uh, I don't like the way that this connector is bending, but for now it will do. Finished tying up these cables and we're ready to plug her in. Ready to plug it in. We don't care about this right here. Yeah. This isn't going to see any airflow. All our airflow is like going to be like right here, off on the sides. Uh, what I'm going to re do is reattach our little side fan, which is right here, which was right in front of my face. Um, Other side. Which I forgot to plug back in the dam. I may or may not be able to get to, but that's okay. Because we have another one of these dudes that we can plug in over here. Put on the front, close her up, power it on, and should be good. Yep. I'm going to attempt... No, there's no way I'm getting to that connector. Or attempt to plug it in up here. This is it. Ready to go. We're going to power this bad boy up, put Steam OS on it. Yep. <laughs> Our box uh, pretty much built. We ran into some difficulties with the Steam OS install. Apparently it's a problem with uh, the way that I had the, the main hard disk formatted. Because it was just a, a random hard drive that I had for storing data, but I never really used it. Uh, but apparently what I have to do is just partition it in a format that Debian understands. And then we'll be able to install SteamOS, which I'm going to do tonight. So eventually we will have a working Steam box. This is Buzz Biggie, signing off. Bye! <laughs>